welcoming, welcome, come in, come into your living room, have a seat. We're so glad you have joined us for Sunday School at Londonderry United Methodist Church, where we are loving God, loving people, and making a difference. Today is Pentecost. It is the day that the church was born, and we celebrate with often with balloons and wearing the color red. We're so delighted to be here together, gathered with you and learning about Pentecost. Well, today we're going to begin with our first musical song. Bev, what is that? We're singing Rejoice in the Lord Always. Rejoice in the Lord always. And now that you're seated, get on up and let's sing together. some sleepy heads oh, here. Okay. What are we gonna do? Oh my goodness, you sleepy heads. Come on, shake it all out. Come on, you rowdies, get up. Let's sing it with gusto, myself included. Come on, let's do another round. Let's go to it. Rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice. celebration today and if you haven't done so we hope that you'll go get some colored paper uh, some fixings for the paper you know like markers stickers glue glitter tape and then you're gonna need some string a little bit later on but I'm not gonna tell you right now what it's for okay um, if you have a parent watching have them go get that and we're gonna hear the story of Pentecost. Now, this is a story that comes to us from Acts chapter two, verses one to 21. But today, I'm going to read the story to you in a narrative. And a narrative is a story. It's a interpretation from the Bible. And we hope you'll enjoy hearing these words they are words meant for a younger audience. Are you ready, Bev? I am ready. All right, here we go. Acts chapter two. Jesus's friends were gathered together in an upstairs room in Jerusalem. They were waiting and praying. They were praying and waiting. And they were talking quietly to one another. I miss Jesus. I feel afraid without him, said one. I miss him too. I don't know how to do God's work or show God's love like Jesus did, whispered another one. Jesus taught us so many things, but I don't think I can do these things by myself whispered a third disciple. Then Peter said, Remember what Jesus told us about God's Spirit coming to help us? I wonder when we're going to know. Suddenly, everyone stopped whispering. 
they felt something happening from the top of their heads to their tippy toes. Ooh, ooh. It was like, it was like the wind blowing. Oh my goodness. started talking at once. God is with us, shouted Peter. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, yes, we can feel God's love, shouted the other friends. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We're not alone. We can feel God's love, shouted Peter again. Everyone became so excited they rushed out into the streets and they were telling everybody about Jesus. Listen, listen, called Peter. We cannot keep from speaking about what we have seen and heard. God is with us. And Peter told all the people about Jesus. Many people believed the good news about God's love. Many people became followers of Jesus. It was an amazing and beautiful time. Wasn't that a great story? And we had some effects here. We had the wind going for you. And thank you, Bev, for helping. And the woo-woo was supposed to be the wind blowing. But we, we have the windows closed right now because the traffic's kind of heavy outside. But if you can imagine what wind sounds like, what does it sound like from where you are? Do you have trees that make the leaves rustle? Do you have a home where there are no trees around so when the wind blows, you can hear a window rattle? What does the wind sound like to you. Our first activity today is going to be about Pentecost. Oftentimes in the early church up till now, the early church means when Jesus had just died and the disciples were taking over and they were spreading good news, people would think of the church as a boat. So today we have an activity about a boat for you. So you could wear your boat as a hat or you could make a boat, okay? And we're gonna give you three minutes to follow some instructions, but we're gonna post the instructions so that you know how to do this at home. Three minutes is not enough to make it, unless you're like a teenager who can do it really, really quickly. So we're gonna show you, you get a square piece of paper and you're going to follow these instructions.
is that? How is your boat coming along? It takes a good bit of work, doesn't it? So the boat was the early sign of the church. And we wanted to give you something fun to do uh, over the weekend to be thinking about what it is that would remind you of church, something you could play with a little later as well. And uh, you could be like me and wear it on your head too. So you'll have more time after today's Sunday school to finish that project up. Thanks. Now we're going to do another song. We are going to do Rejoice in the Lord Always. Deep and Wide. Deep and Wide. We're going to do Deep and Wide. So you have to have your hands ready to make deep and wide symbols. You're going to have to get up to a new space away from some of what you're doing right now. And let's join together. your silly voice. Do you know what a silly voice is? It could be like this. Or it could be like this. You're going to use that silly voice through the whole verse. Ready? Let's go. A very deep voice. Practice your deep voice. Here we go. job. You are so silly. Wonderful, wonderful. Now we're going to get on to our main project of the day. We are going to make a silent wind chime. And this is something that's going to remind us of the spirit of Pentecost moving. And what you're going to need are these things. You're going to need a plastic coat hanger or clothing hanger. And we're going to hang some things from this. Uh, pieces of paper we're going to hang with string and you're going to need some help from mom or dad or a guardian. What you're going to do is you're going to take colored paper. It's going to be flat at first. Ooh, I taped this one really well. Oh dear. So you're going to start with a flat piece of paper and you're going to decorate it. Oh, you are going to decorate it any which way you want. You could put stars on it. You could put some shiny glue on it with sprinkles. You could do magic marker moons or birds, any way you want to decorate it. What would work is if you had different color pieces of paper and you're going to decorate each piece differently. Okay. But if you have your own creative ideas, go with that. And when you're done, You're going to have four 
decorated pieces that you're gonna hang by string from this, and you're gonna hang it outside. And when you hang it outside, you're not gonna hear it, but you're gonna see it moving, and you'll know the spirits with you. Isn't that fun? So let's start decorating, and Bev is gonna play for us for another three minutes. Let's go, let's decorate. doing? I know it's going to take some time to decorate all those chimes, so you're not going to be able to finish all in the length of time we have for Sunday school, but you can finish it afterwards. We just wanted to get you started on this, and it's going to take time for each piece to dry, and then you're going to tape them together. at the end, like this, okay? And then you're gonna put a hole in, tie some string, and tie it to the hanger. So ask your parent or guardian for some help. 
and then you can hang this outside and see it waving and be mindful of the ways the spirit is blowing in your midst. It's just very exciting to be reminded that Christ has left us a spirit to become the church and the wind is there to remind us that we are all a part of the church. The church is not a building, the church is the people. That's the excitement of Pentecost. This morning, we're gonna pause and pray together. And we want to give thanks to God for all those people who are taking care of those who are sick. We wanna say thank you for all those teachers who are doing marvelous things to educate us help us with our homework and getting our classes finished up. And we want to also give thanks to God for the many ways our parents and guardians protect us and help us feel secure. So let's go to God in prayer and you may want to put your hands together like this and bow your head. You may want to offer prayer to God by raising your hands up and your head up Whatever way you're comfortable, please do. And then together we're going to pray the Lord's Prayer. Let us pray. Gracious Lord, we give thanks for the Holy Spirit in our midst, for the ways in which the Spirit blows in our midst and reminds us that we are the church. The church is not a building. The church is not a steeple. The church is the people. Thank you, God, for all the people in our lives who help us feel secure, who help us in so many ways. Today, we want to thank our teachers, our parents, our guardians, our grandparents, our aunts and uncles, our neighbors. We want to say thank you to all those folks who are working long hours in a nursing home, at the hospital, those fire personnel and those EMT who are working so hard. God, we ask that your Holy Spirit blow upon them, give them strength, give them wisdom. And as you do so, we pray that you would give us wisdom. Help us to grow in strength, mind, body, and soul. For we ask this in the name of Christ, who taught us to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Well, thank you for your prayers. And remember, no matter how you pray, whether you say it out loud or you pray it quietly in your heart, God hears you and God cares. Sometimes our prayers are tears tears of joy, tears of sadness. Yes, those are prayers to God too. Thank you. Now, Bev, what is our final hymn this morning? We are going to sing Spirit of the Living God. It's a prayer song. Oh, Spirit of the Living God in, order, in honor of Pentecost. Thank you. How many rounds shall we do? Let's sing through it twice. Two. Two times.
beautiful. Thank you. Today is a very special day in the life of the church, as we've said, Pentecost. And today at noon, we are having a parade. Yes, a parade. We are going to celebrate six older people who are becoming members of the church through confirmation. And we're going to have that parade at noon. We're gonna have festive, festive atmosphere. And so we want you and your folks to come on, join the parade. We're gonna enter the parade route at the back of the church from Pillsbury Street and go down the driveway and around front where you're going to see each of the confirmands standing. And we would be delighted to have you join the parade. You can do anything. You can whistle, blow your horns. You can do whistles, you know, that you have in your mouth. Anything you want. We want you to join us, all right? We will see you there, and in the meantime, God bless you until we meet again. Bye-bye.